we're going to use a mixture made of petroleum jelly and cotton pops. Do what? So this is how it's gonna work. We're going to put the cotton on a, on a large metal rod. And then we're going to take a lighter. The reason why we've chosen to use this uh, mixture is because it's really easy to start to start the fire and it lasts very long. Here in my in my hands, I have a uh, what do we call this? Sparkle and sparkle rod. And as you can see, we can light it up, make circles, and then we can also throw it. That was super nice. Thank you very much. We're not gonna use uh, the fire to to light uh, sparkle rod, but we're going to use it to ignite flower. You know the powder flower you can use to make bread. Right now we're adding a hay. We're riding a flower to the uh, cannon with the shovel. Okay, so uh, the, the electric uh, switch doesn't work. Uh, I'm going to try to use the manual switch, and this is why we have the whole setup ready. Uh, we have a fire extinguisher. That didn't really work out. We believe that the problem is that we've put too much flour and too much pressure. Uh, we're going to try with less pressure and um, a smaller quantity of um, flour. We also put the um, we also put the uh, fire thing higher so that the fire w wouldn't get uh, blown out. Yeah, let's see if it works. Well, this is test number two. One. Okay, so this is test number three. We have a pressure of sev 17 psi, and it's been less an hour. Uh, this is test number six. Uh, more last test for today. Three, two, one. Whoa. Holy shit! Let's celebrate. <laughs> oh, come on. In conclusion, um, the experiment we were trying to, to do is possible. And somewhat successful, although we'll be uh, test doing more tests to get the um, ratio of uh, flour to uh, air more precise. And uh, we'll be trying to create a bigger flame. And I think that's it. Yeah. That's good.